Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today we are going to be making a science themed cake. We are going to be making a beaker cake. I got a lot of requests to do something like this, so I'm really excited. It's going to get a little weird, so let's get weird with it. Let's get started. The things you will need will be kebab sticks. A bunch of Rice Krispie Treats. You can bake your own from scratch or I've bought these ones pre-made from Kellogg's. A little bowl. This is a glass bowl because you can put it in the oven. It's bakeable. And this is one quart or uh, 950 milliliters. So this is the size. It's pretty small. About that big. <laughs> And then you're gonna need three eggs. I'm using a box cake, you can use pound cake or whatever cake you'd like, but I really like this cake because it holds shape very well. A cup of water and half a stick of butter. Let's put it all together. I'm gonna be using my KitchenAid to mix all of these things up, but if you don't have a stand mixer, you can just use an electric hand mixer or a whisk. You'll just have to mix it around a lot. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pour the cake mix from the box cake into the bowl. And then I'm gonna add my half a stick of butter and you're gonna add one cup of water. And our eggs. A boom, now you're gonna mix it all up until it's well combined. Locked, yeah, locked in low. Oh, 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 oh. Mix it on a low speed and then a high speed. Now we're gonna take our little bowl and I'm gonna take the leftover butter and I'm just gonna smooth it around all around the bowl to grease the bowl so that this cake will pop out really easy. Now you're gonna pour about half of your batter into the bowl. It doesn't have to be exact. It will rise a lot when it's baking. And we're gonna bake two cakes. We're gonna bake two of these. So save the other half of your batter. Da -da -do, there you have it. And now you're gonna heat your oven to 330 and we are gonna slow bake it. The reason I do this is because it's a very dense cake so you don't want it to burn. So you just set it to 330 and then you bake it for about 28 minutes. But just keep your eye on it and you can use a toothpick to poke it in and out of the cake to see if it's ready. Once both of your cakes are done baking, you're gonna remove them from the oven and allow them plenty of time to cool because if you do this while they're still warm, they are gonna fall apart. And now we are gonna shape them to look like a science beaker. Look at these, they just, they, they baked perfectly. So what I've got are two cardboard cake rounds and I've just stacked them to be the height that I'll need. And I used a cake leveler set on the lowest setting and then I'm just gonna walk it through the cake so that my cake will be lying flat. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the other cake. Now that we've got our two cake halves all leveled, we are just gonna stack them. So I'm gonna put down the first one and then I'm gonna take my spatula and spread a little bit of buttercream frosting in between and then I'm gonna stick on the top of the cake. Boom, bottom of the beaker all done. Now it's time to make the top. Now we are gonna make the neck of our beaker. You're gonna need five of these Rice Krispie treats and what we're gonna do is open all of them up and sculpt our neck. Now I'm gonna stack them, I'm gonna stack them too and two, and then stick these together. Rice Krispies are really, really sticky, and I saw this on Cake Boss where they mold things out of Rice Krispies, and it is totally possible. So what you're gonna do is press them together to get them to stick, and you're just gonna keep doing this, working it with your hands, until these little Rice Krispies look like a tube. Boom, it's done. Okay, I'm just gonna stick this right here. And now I'm gonna take the fifth Rice Krispie and I'm gonna roll it really, really thin to make the beaker lip. You're just gonna wrap this around the top. Oh, this is so funny. This molds really, really well, I'm really impressed. Now we are gonna stabilize our beaker using a kebab stick. So I've just taken one of the sticks and I'm gonna put it in here first. I'm gonna use the pointy end and we're gonna put it up through the neck. 
Now it is time to frost. I've took a lot of vanilla buttercream frosting, I put it into a plastic bag, and I'm just gonna take a little scissors, snip the tip, and now we are gonna frost this entire beaker cake. I put it on a cake tray so that I could spin it around, making it a little bit more easy. This is a really easy cake. I would say that it's easy mode. We're not doing any fondant. And you're just gonna take your spatula and spread the white frosting on as evenly as you can. But if it's not perfect, who cares? It's science! Well, actually, science is pretty accurate. A really good tip for the frosting is once you've got it laid over your whole cake, I put it in the freezer for 10 minutes to chill, and then I ran the spatula all the way around it again, and it got really smooth. Look at that. Smooth. Now we're gonna take the blue buttercream frosting. I've dyed it blue with a few drops of sky blue food coloring dye. I put it in a plastic bag with a number five tip at the end, and we're gonna decorate our beaker. Now I'm just gonna take this extra white frosting. I put it in a plastic baggie with a number two tip, and I'm just gonna decorate the side of the beaker with the milliliter measurements, starting with 50 and ending with 200. Ta-da! Here is our science beaker cake. It is so cute. Thanks, you guys, for suggesting it. I have never made, with Rice Krispies, molded a cake before. This was my first time, and it was really easy. I loved it. If you have any other ideas for any of the nutty nummies, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below, and I will do my best to make it happen. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or Tumblr. I'll post lots of pictures of this cake, and if you wanna send me your creations, if you make any nerdy nummies, send them to me and I like to post them. I just get a big kick out of them. All right, thanks you guys, bye-bye. science guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Did you guys watch that show? I watched that show growing up, but I'm old.